We're back to answer the question, do all customers receive credit terms automatically? Actually, most customers with a good reputation in the business community and a good credit rating are offered credit terms when they buy goods or services from suppliers. If a business is relatively new and it doesn't have a strong reputation or a solid credit history, it may not get credit terms right away. The business may have to purchase COD, cash on delivery, or offer a credit card that will be charged immediately. It may have to build a relationship and prove to be a reliable payer before it is given credit terms. Not all customers receive the same credit terms. Credit terms depend on the relationship between the seller and the buyer. A seller may give credit terms of 310 net 15 to one customer, but give an other customer 115 net 45. The seller and the buyer will negotiate the terms, and the seller generally is the one who decides what they will give each of their customers. There might even be multiple discounts offered. 210 120 net 30 is possible. Remember, as a business owner, if you don't sell on credit, one of your competitors will. Selling on credit is likely to be necessary in order to remain competitive. What are the negative effects of offering credit to customers? Well, you already know that a business that offers credit terms delays collecting cash from its customers. This means the business has already earned the revenue by doing their job but has not, as yet, collected the cash from its customers. Why is this a problem? Because a business selling a good or service has likely paid cash in order to generate the revenue. So they already had an outflow of cash. For instance, a service business may have an outflow of cash due to paying the wages of its employees. A retail or wholesale business has already had an outflow of cash to purchase the inventory that it just sold. In both cases, if the business sells to its customers on account, it gets nothing but a promise from the customers to pay in the future. In the meantime, the business has to pay its employees or they have to pay to buy new inventory. Sometimes they have to do both. These activities require cash. If the business doesn't have cash, because customers haven't paid yet, it will have to borrow from the bank. That will result in an additional expense due to the interest that must be paid on the debt. So what is one of the negative effects of offering credit to customers? Delayed cash inflow. For a merchandiser, such as a wholesaler, the greater the time period between when the business buys the inventory sells the inventory to the customer, and collects the cash from the customer. The more the business may have to borrow cash from the bank in order to pay its own bills on time. The same is true when a business provides a service. The longer the time period between when it provides the service and when it collects the cash from the customer, the more the business may have to borrow cash to pay its own bills. Another major drawback of offering credit is the risk of customers not paying their outstanding accounts receivable balances. If customers don't have enough cash to pay bills when they come due, they may never be able to pay the bill because they're going bankrupt. If a customer goes bankrupt, you will likely never receive payment of that outstanding accounts receivable balance. Your business will suffer a loss on those sales through no fault of your own. In fact, you have two losses. One is you can't collect the cash on the outstanding accounts receivable. But two is that the inventory you gave to your customers, you probably will never be able to recover. You can see that selling on account is risky. But if you don't sell on account, one of your competitors will. Why is the valuation of accounts receivable on the statement of financial position so important? External stakeholders use the financial statements for decision making. The external stakeholders, like the bank, expect that any accounts receivable balances will be collected in the short term. That means that the accounts receivable balance will be converted or changed over into cash. External stakeholders use this information to see if the business can pay off their current liabilities when they come due. 
Internal stakeholders need information to make appropriate decisions about how to move forward in the business. When you sell to customers on account, you want to be as sure as possible. Keep in mind, you can never be 100% sure that you'll be able to collect the accounts receivable in cash. You're making business decisions based on the belief that you'll be able to collect the accounts receivable in cash. So, because accounts receivable belongs in current assets and current assets are used by both internal and external stakeholders to make decisions, it's really important that the value of accounts receivable reflects the accounts receivables future economic benefit, the amount of cash the business expects to receive in the future. The allowance for doubtful accounts is the account we use to ensure accounts receivable is valued at just that its future economic benefit. And that's something we'll be covering in an upcoming video.